in Chateau in the a French suburb near Paris. And my name is Constance. And my name is Edward. Beatrice. And I'm Jason. Well, we, uh, we host refugees. I've been working with the Welcome Project for almost four years. Our parish wanted to talk about the refugees and uh, I heard about JRS and that's how we, we get involved with them. Talking about refugees in, in France and in this area is not very easy. Uh, so I, I was really happy that um, this many families joined. Mm -hmm. But it's such an easy experience. I mean, it's, they, they, they're not staying uh, at your house during the day. They, every morning they go to Paris and they come back at night. So it's not very demanding. You just have to have an extra bedroom or a place where you could sleep. But I think that they're glad to have just some basic human warmth. I um, think that they're interested in understanding France and French people and what it means to live in France. So they're very interested in understanding, you know, customs and, you know, French language. Mm -hmm. But I think that people realize that they had a spare room in their house. They had a spare bedroom because their kids had all left and, you know, why not, you know, give it to someone who was in need of a, of a bed? There is one person that made a special impression on you, uh, on me, sorry. Uh, it's, uh, he's called Kader. Uh, it was in December, I think, and, and it was the first time he saw snow. So I just um, asked him, why don't you, we do um, a snowball fight? And he just enjoyed it. And was, uh, had a really a, a good moment with him. The welcome program is very flexible. Uh, you can p choose whatever months you want to host the refugees or not, so it makes it very easy. Okay. We're, yeah, we're going to keep uh, hosting uh, refugees. Um, it's, um, it's our family plan. <laughs> and it's a gr great experience. Welcome project was a really good experience for us, for me, for my kids, for my family. It's a, for me, it's also an educative project because my kids learned a lot and I, I did too. And uh, we had a discussion really interesting with Rafat. So it's a really good experience for all of us. Uh, I am uh, Rafat Al Ghanem, Syria. And, uh, journalist. I am now in Paris, uh, in Cologne. And uh, I am Caroline, I'm French, and uh, I live in Cologne. And uh, we hosted uh, Rafat for 10, day, 10 days. Yeah. <laughs> My expectation was really uh, simple. It was only to meet, uh, to meet someone uh, who needed uh, to take a breath. Something, something was really interesting uh, for me. It's to share culture, our culture. Uh, for instance, uh, he showed us Syrian dance and my kids danced, uh, danced with him. We share about music, about uh, literature, um, about philosophy too. It, it was uh, that's that is very important for us to to share to share our culture. <laughs> what I really appreciate with Jerez is that they, they take care of families too, and they know we need to take our our time. And um, yes, we already uh, welcomed two people. It was really a rich experience, and each time it's a deep experience, and. Um, we need time to welcome another one. So we are in December and we know in January, in the middle of January, we can welcome another people.